The Kafka-esque World of Nitro is the title of one Show Me Cannabis report, and it details a conversation with researcher Aaron Mallon and Nitro. A law enforcement officer on the other end of the phone says the Drug Strike Force isn't a state agency or a federal agency. It's a grant situation. I guess because of that, they've also tried to say that they aren't subject to the same Missouri Sunshine laws that clearly uh, all of the other drug task forces are subject to. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, it's questionable. We don't know what's going on with Nitro, and, and we would like to find out. That's uh, you know the purpose of the Sunshine Law, and that's the purpose of, of oversight. Altogether, Show Me Cannabis has researched the 27 drug strike forces in Missouri. Langston said, out of those 27, none of them seem to have the same relationship with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Uh, I don't believe that we've had that particular response from anyone. Uh, regardless, it doesn't really matter because the way that the Missouri uh, statutes are written for the Sunshine Law, it means that any quasi-governmental body is subject to the same law. John Hamm, ATF agent and public information officer for Nitro, said part of the funding for the task force comes from a federal grant but is administered by the state. Additional funding is provided through asset seizures. It's just not clear where, who, who is responsible for the oversight of this organization. For Fox 26 KNPN, I'm Dave Hahn.